do is to throw, pretending like you're crushing your partner's face, don't actually crush them. It's like the ultimate competition, you know, in jiu-jitsu, like, you're not getting hurt. Uh, and, you know, you could, dude, there's so much to it. You're constantly, like, learning uh, new things, new techniques. And uh, I, I've always looked to it for competition, but, you know, you don't even have, you know, you don't have to compete. You know, uh, most, uh, most students out there who train jiu-jitsu, they don't want to compete. They just want to train and get better and improve. So uh, I just, I love it, man. MMA was the next step, you know. I won uh, Pan American titles, national titles, world titles, and uh, my team, you know, like my my instructor Ricardo, his instructor Henzo, like it's just what we did, you know. It was just MMA was the next step. So I never truly, to believe it or not, loved MMA like I loved jujitsu. But it was the next step, and to test myself and to really uh, take things to the next level. <laughs> When I'm punching someone in the face, I don't say I want to punch this person to hurt them. I say I want to punch this person to be victorious. So whatever you have to do to get your hand raised and to, vet, to defend yourself, you're going to do. It's not to really, uh, it's not to really hurt anybody. It's just to, to, to do your job. I don't want to lose my... Uh, the intellectual side that I have. I don't want to lose my smarts and, and my uh, my ability to uh, really dissect things. And right now I could do that, you know. And I don't want to be sitting there like, you know, some of these boxers you see talking, like James Tony, Tommy Hearns. You know, like I don't want that to happen to me in 20. I'm too smart for that, man. So yeah, I you know honestly, I say to myself like. Do I, like, what's, what is it worth, you know, like, uh, and it's inevitable, man, you get those hits, eventually it's going to catch up.